Boston Neighborhood Network and the Boston Foundation present... My Summer in the City is a story about the people of Boston creating positive change in their own backyards. The Boston Foundation has donated $710,000 to keep parks open, local organizations active, and communities thriving during the summertime. Strong, safe communities will ensure a brighter future for our youth, tomorrow's leaders. One of today's leaders, Robert Lewis Jr., has been a passionate advocate for urban issues over the last three decades and now takes action as the Vice President of Program at the Boston Foundation. The initiative really started off as a summer safety strategy. You know, when you start thinking about this generation of young folks, you know, there, there's the violence. And, and part of that is not just the violence per se, it's the trauma and it's the effect that goes uh, along with this. And it was a couple of years ago, we started looking at it in a different light. Richard Ward had this idea of like, we needed to do more in our city. It was around the community taking more ownership, the community taking responsibility, and actually how do we rid the word safety, but really turn around and it's about celebration. And that's where we came up, it was about my summer in the city, which meant it was inclusive, it was owned by everybody, and that our focus could be much more on open space, parks and playgrounds, and investing in communities and community leaders that were going to do events that were serving children, youth and family. What this is all about is city kids having as good a summer and as good opportunities as any kids anywhere and thanks to all of you that's going to happen. We open up the doors of, uh, um, uh, three nights a week from eight to nine feeding anybody and everybody. Our young folks are also really having to struggle with this whole idea of hope and understanding that why it's important for them to get their education. Why for them to know that there is a generation that believes and that's really committed to folks. We're going to have to get even more to the grassroots to those folks that are out there that know these kids better than anyone and ensuring they get the resources and the support to do that. My name is Lisa Smith. I'm the Kids Cafe Coordinator and I've been at the West End House for six and a half years. Uh, when I first started, I was feeding about 150 to 175 kids and now it's up to about 300. My biggest accomplishment here has been getting kids to really enjoy fresh, fru fresh fruits and vegetables. Since we've had my summer in the city, I've definitely seen more people come involved with the Western House and more kids coming in because they'll hear, like, they could be at the park and they'll hear it and they'll be like, wow, that's really cool, like, what's going on? I would love to figure out that all parks and playgrounds throughout the city are activated. And again, it's small dollars making big impact. Maybe we need to do a few more citywide type of events that really convenes the different neighborhoods to come together for a major citywide activity because there's power in our communities from how things are happening in East Boston or the North End, but how are things happening in Austin and Brighton or Roxbury and Dorchester? Today we're taking over the Strand Theater for One Night Only Volume 2. We are a artistic Artist collective, when you say? A collection of different kinds of artists of all different types. And we're all from different parts of the city, so coming together like this and on one stage is definitely our mission and uh, our accomplishment. Today we had uh, a very successful uh, career and resource day, uh, bringing jobs and job opportunity and job information to the neighborhood. So tonight's cultural night is part of the My Summer in the City initiative. And so cultural night at the West End House is actually very special to us. We pride ourselves at being Boston's most diverse after-school program. Yeah, this is our annual uh, roller hockey tournament that's uh, funded by the Boston Foundation and it's sponsored by these Boston Athletic Board. We're doing a music-themed arts and crafts night on the Prado with Becca, with myself. And uh, we've got a number of activities set up for the families and children that live in the North End and also for any passerbys going through the Prado. We're right on the Freedom Trail. We have a lot of kids that are playing football. We have a lot of younger kids that may not be old enough to play football, but they come out here, they watch, they learn. We have young ladies out here that cheer for us on every level. We also have parents that come out here and participate. If there is one thing that we did do this year that I'm very excited about, is that we expanded My Summer in the City into Lynn. We expanded My Summer in the City into Cambridge, and My Summer in the City into Somerville. 
Foster Foundation is helping the Community Minority Cultural Center reach out to everybody in Lynn, such as the youth that's here, that range from ages 5 through 19, and also the adults that come to this event. I think in the future we have to have a concept like this that is really year-round, that you can activate programs in our parks, in our community centers, wives and boys clubs throughout the year. Thank you.